Viewers, welcome back to Family Matters. I tell you this program and this topic, families, there is healing in the name of Jesus. Listen, we need healing. We need healing in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Because our minds are so corrupt. Our minds are working with the devil and we have to weed the devil out of our system. We have to be transformed by the blood of Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. Viewers, I am appealing to you. It is time to change your lifestyle for Jesus is coming soon. It is time you have to repent. Repent of your sins. Pastors, just like myself, we have to repent. We sin every day in thought, word, and deed, and we have to repent. We don't know when the last minute will come of our lives. <laughs> and my guest this evening are Bishop Fitzalan Williams from Rehoboth Deliverance Ministries. We also have Brother Randy George, and their telephone numbers, our bishop's number is 725-3033, and um, Brother Randy George's number is 778-9023. My number is 756-0069. We want to transform you. We want healing to take place. Bishop, we were on a sore point there a while ago. Yeah. I know that as pastors we have a problem. Yeah. Brother Randy, we have a problem. Um, we need the healing from Christ. We need the healing in the families. We need the healing in the husbands and the wives. All the indifferences. Bishop, continue. Yes, so when we, what we need really is for men, men, our married men, to take their rightful place. But we have so much of our young people, especially our young girls, and our young men, they believe in the shacking up story. So sin continue to roll over. A curse from my mother continue to roll over. It is saying to me, uh, uh, my, my mother, when she meet three children out of wedlock, and it's not, not, not me, it's not the wrong in that. Yes. Yes, yes. No, we have all of that. And sometimes you put our young people to sit down and talk with them, especially our young girls, and they're not really hearing you when you're talking. They're because hearing their friends yeah. because, you know, and so we have to start, that's why the scripture says, bring up a child in the way it should go, that when it's a age of accountability will not depart. We got to start as men to be men, but we are the men. They're on the block climbing. We are the men. They leave the, the family home and they go in another man's home the, you know, they leave their children and my name somebody else's children. We are the men, they're in prison. We are the men, they're on the gambling, gram, gambling table. And so we need men who would stand. You know, you have men, they're not giving their wives anything. But when they go home, they want to call soup. And if she ain't do that, <laughs> she face and she head and they beat and she. Hmm. We got to get out of that syndrome. We got to stand up and pray against the forces of darkness. Hallelujah. Men got to be men. There are some men who work no way, but they want the best. And if the woman have, and I, I'm talking to somebody today, I know that. And if the man, if the woman able to muster something, you import nothing, but where, where, where is the mm -hmm. Where is the <laughs> ox tail? Yeah. So they look for the best. Yeah. And some of these ladies afraid they stay in the relationship. Some 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 men they drink, they drunk, they go home, and they they rape their wives. And then women has to stay with that. These are some of the things. And you see sometimes these wives keep that quiet because when we go go. I'm a man. But you cannot keep some of these things quiet. When you have, when a man go home and he watch his wife and drink and drunk and turn she upside it down, rape her, and she all she do move and cry and get up in the morning and go and bathe and say, well, that good? No! 
these are wicked act. A woman, not, a woman not to be treated like that. A woman is to love, cherish, and all women are beautiful in their own way. You know, I would like to hear the young man on this. As a young man, what, what is your feeling? It, it, it's funny, you know, that um, as young men, right, let me speak from, from as, use myself as an example. Yes. You know, I never had that example of a father, right? Um, you know, I, for the younger part of my years, you know, I had a, a stepfather, mm -hmm. right? But to have a father, a real father figure, right, um, operating in my life, you know, I never really had that. And uh, I turned, you know, basically to the, to the older men in the village, right? And my mom will often, you know, she will often, you know, tell me, you feel you as a man. You want to be around all the big men. You know, you feel you as a man. Stay away from them big men. What did they teach you? You know, and uh, the thing about it is that as a young man, you look for something. You look for your identity, mm -hmm. right? You know, we, we, take, we take these young men who are running around for granted, you know, and we tell ourselves, you know, they're just ignorant and they're just rude and they're just, but they are looking for an identity. Right? They, they, they are they're looking for a role model. Looking for a role model right? And, uh, and uh, I looked, you know, I looked through the village and, and you will hear stories and you hear how these men will do certain things and you hear how these men will treat people and treat their wives and treat their girlfriends. And, uh, you know, you tell yourself, well, this is how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then you will learn from the most deceiving giant of all, the TV. You know, and, uh, you know, these are the things that. Go, go, you, that some, is developing and helping to, to teach the young men now. So when you get into a relationship, you have no real source and no real foot and no real foundation on how to treat a young woman, mm. right? How to handle this relationship, mm. right? Because to you, the most basic and the most important thing is sex, right? And uh, then this goes on into your marriage. And now, when you enter into this marriage now, if you haven't come into that place where you, could have, where you have found a, a, a godly man to take you under his wings, then, or where you, where, you, where you even could find God for yourself, you know, then you, you operate in the same way. You carry the block into your home, right? And you, you treat this woman just as you were taught on the block, just as you were taught from these men. So it's not that, it's not that, Sometimes it's not, I, I, I want to use the word softly, willingly, you know, I'm using it cautiously, you know, it's not, it's not sometimes a willing act, right? But it's what you were taught, it's what, what you have seen, you know, and uh, the thing about it is that we, as young men, we, we, we look, we are looking, we are looking for examples, we are looking for, for godly role models, mm -hmm. right? To really step forward and show us how to do this thing, right? Because you have to learn from somebody, you know. And thank God that you know I came in contact with the Bible and came in contact with with church and that sort of thing, right? That helped teach me along the way. But what about a young man who hasn't come in contact with that? Who hasn't come in contact with a pastor? Hasn't come in contact with the Bible? You know what is expected from him? Could we really honestly say that we could expect a good home for him to bring forth a good home? You know? I mean, we have, we have people that pretend to have good homes mm. oh, on, yes. the, on the outside. Yes. When you yes. see them in public with their wives and with their family, you yearn for it. You're jealous sometimes. But when you hear, when you look behind the curtain, yes. there's a lot of abuse. There's a lot of deception. Yes. Right? There's a lot of anger. Yes. There's a lot of separation. You know? So, so, I firmly believe with all my heart from, from my life and from seeing and from the experience of others that, you know, there, there is only the way of God Hallelujah. that could really create that atmosphere of a home because we have been building houses for too long. Hallelujah. You know, so it's about Hallelujah. time that we, we really start mm. to form homes within these homes. Yes, man. You know, Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. You know and... and Ahead, and we need, we need, 
you know, I, I, and I was, we had an ordination the other day, and uh, you know, I was telling the, 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 the audience that, you know, I'm grateful for, for Bishop's wife, right? That, you know, my wife, you know, she took my wife under her wings. Excellent. You know, and will tell us certain things and teach us certain things and just, you know, minister to her. Hallelujah. You know, and, uh, you know, we need that. We need a man like Bishop and we need more men, more leaders to take the young men under their wings. Hallelujah. You know, yeah. and teach them, hey, this is how you treat your wife. This That's is how right. you treat with situations in the home. Right. This is the way you treat with your children. And you know, one of the things that, you know, the spirit, the Lord has dropped into my spirit is that there are a lot of stepchildren involved mm. in a lot of these homes now. Yes, brother, yes. And uh, some of these stepchildren are being abused. Yes. You know, and it, it's, it's causing a, a dark place in these homes. Oh. You know, and, uh, you know, we need to deal with this. We need to deal with this. We need to we need to teach these men and teach some of the, even these stepmothers how to deal with these stepchildren in these homes, you know. And and this is something that I don't think it, it, it gathers enough attention. Yes, yes, yes. Right. We, we need to somebody need to speak on behalf of these stepchildren, right? I was reading the papers the other day where a stepgirl at the age of thirteen was abused by her stepfather for forty six yes. years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. Through the, 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 the passage of history, there's a lot more. You know? And what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we, are we just letting these stepchildren fall through the cracks? Are we, letting these are we just ignoring these stepchildren cry? Because the truth and the fact is, is that when you have your own, it's treated differently from a stepchild. Yes. Right? It yes. is. You know? And as much as you might want to believe that, it is it's at times. Fact. It's a fact. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, all these issues need to be tended with, you know, in the family, yes. you know, and, uh, and uh, I pray God that these pastors will just stop being celebrities in the church Amen, and reach brother. out to the young Amen, men, brother. reach out to the young men and teach these men by, not only by, by putting chalk to board, but teach them by living an example, Hallelujah. living the, a life that these men can look forward to and say, I want to be like this. I want to yes. I want to be able to treat my wife like this. I want to be able to have this kind of home that my, my, my pastor lives in. You know, I want to I wanna be able to experience this love. When you see the, the pastor and his wife together, you must yearn for that. Hallelujah. And not, not, not see a fella, you know, you see these fellas on the, on, on the street. They quite up ahead and the girlfriend trying to catch up. You know, or you know, you you, you wanna you wanna walk with your girlfriend. I, you know, funny enough, you know, as he's these days, you know, a guy will open his car door and get in and leave the girl outside. Yeah. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Because he's Very not discreet. taught. Yes, yes, he, that's he's right. not taught. That's right. He's not taught. And with this we have to go for another break. Yours, <laughs> we'll be right back. Viewers, welcome back to Family Matters. We are coming down to a close. And I really don't think there always enough for us to, to do God's will here this evening. Because God is calling. He's calling for us to get prepared, get, get ready for his coming. Viewers, think about Jesus Christ when he comes. And the earthquake shakes the earth and the place mashes up. Where will you be? Hmm. It's something to think about. Right now I'm reading the book of Revelation. And when you, you read the book of Revelation and you see what is about to happen, my God, repent. Get yourself right with Jesus Christ of Nazareth before it's too late. My guest this evening, Bishop Fitzalan Williams. His telephone number is 725-3033. And Brother Randy George, 7789023. And they're both from Rehoboth Deliverance Ministries. And they have moved from Friendsfield to the old White building Space opposite Tampering Square Space in Scarborough. Adelaide. And they also have the church in Space Side. So please attend to the services. On a Fridays, they have deliverance service. You need deliverance? Go to Bishop Fitzalan Williams's church. 
you'll get deliverance because he's a man who believes in the word of God. He has transformed his life for God and God has transformed him for his glory. Amen. And as Amen. my brother here was speaking that you know, he's using your life as an example. And yes, Bishop, yes, this is what we want. We yeah. want to have role models for Jesus so that the whole nation can be transformed for Christ. And, I, you know, I listened to you a while ago, Brother George, and I'm saying we need to go into the villages. We need to go into the schools. We need to have young men like you to help transform our youths Amen. for Jesus. Amen. That's the healing Jesus is calling about. You know, as touching that, the, there's a man who spoke to me on yesterday, mm -hmm. and my last son, Joseph, was there. And Joseph said, but daddy, these young people, and he's young, he's 19. Yes. He said, these young people, they does not know what they want. Don't call the man, the man has everything. Give him an apartment, have his... He said, Daddy, these, these, these young people don't know what they want. I said, Joe, you understand what you want? He said, yes, Daddy. And thank God how you bring me up. Hallelujah. You know? And I felt good in my Amen. spirit Amen. to know he's just 19 and he knew what is right from wrong. And, 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 and when you have, that's why the scripture says, and I want to remind the viewers, that's why the scripture says that when you bring up a child in the way it should go, you got to see the fruit, the, the, the fruit fruits of your labor. Of your labor. Amen. And, and, and then when you want to hold the office, and this is one of the things that I think licking up the church, you know. When you want to hold the office as a bishop, this Bible says the bishop must be the husband of one wife. Amen. 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 So when you want to hold the office as a bishop and a deacon and a pastor in the church, you have to be an example. And you know, viewers, I must tell you, before we came off air, or just after we came off air, I had to shake Brother George's hand. Of course. Because, listen, I have not heard a young man speak like this in a long time, understanding the principles that God has placed for men. But you know, I, I am saying, viewers, we don't have enough time Sorry. because we talked about men, yeah. but there are women who are also playing the fool. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. There are women that need to be checked. Yes. You only know, you will only know when the woman playing the fool when she got sick. Yeah. And she has to run to the doctor here and go to the doctor there. Oftentimes, she may leave home early in the morning. And do she own thing, and you, you and since so she gone to work, and she might not go to work. Exactly. She might go to work in elsewhere. That's right. And so you know you have all of that to yes. contend with. There are women who are really messing yeah, no, up marriages you, too. Yeah, of yes. course, of I course. Think, home records, you call yeah. them. I also think that um, I often tell you know my young lady friends, you know, it's about time that you demand what you want from a man. Is young women need to start to understand what they want from a man and demand it and not accept anything because he's cute yeah or because he he bling in you know what I mean or because he's from this family or that family you know he, you need to understand what you want and demand it and stand by it you know people values, yeah, values. Yes. You, you know women women are accepting anything young girls are accepting anything yes, yes. you know fried just ju ju yeah fried chicken this that just to see that I'm with him. Mm. That's my man. It's sad. That's my boyfriend. You know, and, and then women know they marry for convenience. A lot of women are marrying for, young girls are marrying for convenience. Yes. You know, yes. to be able to live the lavish lifestyle, to be able to live comfortable. Now, there's nothing wrong with living comfortable, right? You should desire to live comfortable. But then what does it come with? That's right. Right? That's what, right. Are the, what are the what negative are the baggage? perks it comes what with? The baggage? All these baggages, you know? And uh, these young ladies need to understand, hey, this is what I stand for. This is what I'm going to accept. This is what I'm not going to accept. Right? If you come to me in this way or in this format, then you can't speak to me. Right? And it's about time young ladies come to that point yes. where they stand at their principle and stand on what they believe in. Right? And and have some value in yourself. Exactly. You can't you can't you can't have Values, you going out with this standards. guy for the first night and then he wants to sleep with you and you accept it. Right? Madness. If he if he if he if he wants to sleep with you. And you say no, 
and he decides he still insists on doing it, then it becomes rape. And you have full grounds and legal grounds to, 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 to be protected and to bring him before the court and get justice, right? But you can't allow that because as a young man, I let you know, young ladies, once that happens, it becomes blatant disrespect. Disrespect will follow. Right. There's no more respect for you. That's right. There's, That's there's right. no chance for love for you. Mm -hmm. Right? So you need to let a young man know, hey, I have some value in me, and you need to respect those values in me. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad, you know, that I have a walk with should, him. You're supposed <laughs> you to be know, proud of him, Bishop. Of course, I'm so <laughs> oh, glad. Yes, because, yes. You see, he, I think he understands the vision of Rehobot, what we stand for. Hallelujah. I, I, because they will hear me tell them, especially our young ladies, don't allow people, certain people, to come into your space. You know, a young man take you out, and uh, he wants to come in your space. You might be sitting in the car, but he wants to. Mm. <laughs> now I teach them all of that, you have to. and you have so to. I, I, I sit here and listen. So I understand yes. what he, that he's looking into the vision, and once you could look into the vision. We're, we're, we're what we stand for, it means that we are going somewhere. Yes, mm -hmm. and I would like you both to look into the camera and speak, because we're coming down to a few so minutes they, again. Yeah. Speak to the viewers about that healing in the name of Jesus. Only he alone can heal. Ma'am, you're looking at this television, and I'm just simply saying to you, you need that father figure to talk to. You need that counselor. Please, you can come to our ministry, Rehoboth Deliverance Ministry. We see people every Wednesday. You call. My number is 725 -3033. You get godly counsel in your situation. That husband, sir, you, are, you, you doesn't understand the nature of your wife. I want you to come. Let us sit and have man talk so that I will be able to help you. Amen. To get that sugar out of the bucket. <laughs> Brother. Um, the young man out there that has made a lot of mistakes, that has ill-treated your young wife, that has ill-treated your girlfriend, you know, that, that has lost your way, you know, I want to encourage you and I want to direct you, you know, there is still hope. There is still hope, there is still a place for you, and there is always a place in the kingdom of God for you, you know, and uh, you might be leaving God right now. You might, you might be telling yourself you're, you're fed up at this church thing or what, what you've been hearing. You know, you don't, you don't want to believe in this God. But try this God. Use this God. He's there to, be, to, 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 be com to comfort you and to direct you and to lead you. you. You need Jesus Christ in your life. Because it's only through Him you will understand how to treat people around you. It's only through Him you will understand how to love, how to truly and truly and meaningfully love. So don't ignore this this evening, right? You need Jesus Christ in your life. Make that change, and he will make the difference in your relationship, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to pray. As a young man, as we close this evening, I'm asking you to close us off in prayer. Let God touch you to touch a life there, in Jesus' name. And viewers, God loves you. Good evening. We'll ask Brother George to finish us this evening in prayer. Brother George. Father God of heaven, we thank you this evening. We thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you for your cross. We thank you for resurrection this evening. And dear Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, for even the listening audience out there, the viewing audience out there, I pray that, oh God, that they will hear the word of this message and they will, oh God, yield to your word and yield to your calling and yield to, the, you said you at every heart you'll be knocking. And, and, and I pray that they answer the call this evening. I pray that they'll understand that you are the direction for the home, for Jesus. the relationship. You are the meaning of love. In Jesus. in Jesus' name. And I pray, oh God, that you will touch each viewer right now in the name of Jesus and direct them, oh God, where they could find your love, where they could find peace in their homes. And dear God, I pray for that father right now that is viewing, Lord Jesus, that is going through a bitter divorce. Father God, 
touch him right now and direct him, oh God, to your throne in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is coming soon. There's healing in the name of Jesus. Good evening.